Good morning, folks. We've got things getting quiet above our heads, so we'll begin to watch for movement beneath our feet in the coming days. We've got interesting articles to touch on as well, but first let's get to spaceweathernews.com and find something happening this morning just left of center near the northern portion of the incoming coronal hole. We're going to re-watch that on repeat to gain some perspective. It is one odd-looking surface in coronal surge, likely driven by rapid filament flux in the local region, which then spilled out into the surrounding areas in twisting and snapping fashion. I'm eagerly awaiting coronagraph images to update because this one could have made a wide burst CME, and we would be attempting to track it tonight. Solar flaring saw no reason to get out of bed for the show. Sunspots, no sunspots, old ones down south, new ones over to the left side, simple spread versus magnetic complexity. The earth facing quiet just doesn't care. You will soon learn this, rookies. Solar wind is relatively calm after the phi angle shift late on the 10th brought the BZ north in a quiet geomagnetic situation. We are nearing cosmic ray alert levels, however. Well, folks, the earthquake watch did indeed begin yesterday. We posted the alert locations and some details about this specific alert on Twitter. But I want to mention that if we don't see further energy near the junction of Central and South America, we may take her off alert as the Nevado del Ruiz volcano released a lot of pressure earlier this week. We were indeed waiting for that in the general region. Couple notes. How about one of our favorites coming back a second day in a row, again with the influence of the planets, but this time, it's the big four past the asteroid belt and their modulation of cosmic ray influence here on Earth. Dr. Scafetta, la ringrazio tanto. We also have a follow-up to the fly-on-the-wall discussion from this past weekend on Proxima B habitability through space weather analysis. While the sunspot cycle there may resemble the cyclical pattern of our sun, the sunspots there can easily cover a fifth of the entire star. If we ever saw that here, goodbye to every power grid on the planet. ENSO index dropping quickly. Eyes open for the potential to see La Nina called by the end of the year. And by the way, we forecast a winter like 2013 for the eastern U.S. north of the Mason-Dixon line. We've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.35 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.